want to try the button? Yeah. Okay, wait. Yeah. I'm going to try scope. Scope. Stuff the scope? Yeah. I'm a gardener, so I like my flowers in the back in the summertime. I did an elective in genetics because I'd liked plant genetics when I was in college. And I realized that I really, really liked genetics because it was a combination of really interesting science, a lot of infused sort of ethical questions, and also really the puzzles of trying to understand why a child would have multiple medical issues or developmental issues or not quite look like their family. My name is Amy Roberts, and I'm the co-director of the Center for Cardiovascular Genetics at Boston Children's Hospital. How's your year been? Good. Yeah. School's almost over. Is that a good thing or not a good thing? Good. Yeah. Oh. I came here for my genetics residency. So it was a really nice joining of my research background and my clinical interests. Once you've come to Boston Children's, there's not really a reason to go anyplace else. When I meet a patient for the first time, it's like a regular medical visit with some questions that I ask that probably other doctors don't ask and some parts of the physical exam that I do that other doctors probably don't do. Really high quality care is personalized. It's much more helpful to say your child is here and how do we deal with that. In genetics, every time I see a diagnosis, I have to go back to the medical literature. Are there new treatments? Are there new genes known? Constantly learning. And we're at this really interesting and exciting time in genetics where we can really answer many more questions than we ever could in the past and it's really transformed how we can help families. Increasingly though, Understanding the genetic cause has uncovered a particular pathway. So the future is really using that genetic information to tailor medications and other treatments that are specific to the genetic change and not just based on looking at the histories of other kids. A normal echo is very reassuring. It sounds like on your physical exam, there's really nothing that would be concerning for a connective tissue problem. I always say my patients are the best. The kids are just fun to be around, very resilient. Seeing how kids really navigate in a way that maybe as adults we wouldn't predict that they do is a good reminder for us as well that persevering and doing your best really does make a difference. And that's really invigorating and inspiring.